more issues in the search for the next superintendent of East Hampton schools. 22 News reporter Christina Demores joins us live in East Hampton. And Christina, a candidate who withdrew their offer for the position has been accused of transphobia by East Hampton students. Yeah, that's right. And in the wake of these accusations, I spoke with a leader within the LGBT, LGBTQ community about this, and she highlights how important it was for these students to come forward with their concerns. Students took the time to write to the mayor and say, hey, we hear this. This is not OK. East Hampton students being praised by leaders of the LGBTQ community for calling out what they describe as transphobic posts by Dr. Erica Faginski Stark, a former superintendent candidate for East Hampton schools. In this little town in the western part of Massachusetts, there are students who are actually taking control of their peers. They're protecting their peers. They're protecting each other. Screenshots show Dr. Faginski Stark posted a video from right wing outlet PragerU commenting on transgender athletes in women's sports, along with a separate post about Title IX protection for women's sports. Email correspondence between East Hampton students and Mayor Nicole LaChapelle from last Monday show the school's Gay Straight Alliance expressing concerns over what they call conservative transphobic rhetoric that Faginski Sark posted to her personal Facebook account. The mayor responded to the students on the 13th saying she would follow up on their concerns. One day later, Faginski Stark withdrew her offer for superintendent. Kids really are holding adults accountable to the point where these students wrote the mayor. That's true accountability and the exercise of true empowerment. Grace Moreno of the Massachusetts LGBT Chamber of Commerce says the city of East Hampton should be proud of their young people for using their voice. People are stepping up. Young people are stepping up. They're using their voice. I think that a true oasis of inclusion is on its way, and I think that it's beautiful that it's happening here in East Hampton. And according to the Ludlow Public School website, Dr. Fikinski Stark is the director of curriculum and instruction for the district. And 20 News has reached out to her directly, but as of news time, we have not heard back. Working for you in East Hampton, Christina Demores, 20 News.